Hi, my name's Leo and I'm a boat builder and a sailor. A few years ago I bought a very old and quite famous wooden sailing boat for the price of one dollar and since then I've been rebuilding that boat from the keel up with the help of a lot of amazing people. Now I'm actually just about to head back to the UK for a quick visit to see friends and family and so on. I'm not gonna have a lot of time while I'm back there so I'm handing over the camera uh, and the editing to the team here and Patrick is going to be doing a bit of a takeover and telling the story of building the hanging lockers in the galley which started quite a while ago but just got finished very recently. Raquel is going to be doing some editing and I'm just going to be helping sort of remotely and from the sidelines uh, with a bit of storyboard and editing. So I hope you like this short bonus video and I'll be back with a full length video about uh, the final stepping of the mast next week. Hi I'm Paddy. <laughs> and I'm building the galley and we're talking today about the hanging lockers in the galley. So first thing was to make a pretty detailed mock-up of getting pretty much the height off of the countertop for the bottom edge of the cabinets and then how far outboard we wanted to put the face of the cabinets and then also to just kind of get a feel on how everything looks with the space. So once we made a detailed mock-up and had all the measurements, then I could go ahead and make patterns for the, for the vertical bulkheads that separated each kind of cabinet bay. And those vertical bulkheads really take the weight of the whole hanging locker. So that was pretty, pretty fun and exciting and important and hard, but fun. Now that the load-bearing vertical bulkheads are in, it's time to make the face frame and corner post for the hanging lockers. And when we did the mock-up, we decided that we wanted to break the lockers into kind of two sections and, and kind of let in the aft section a little bit so it kind of follows the, the line of the um, of the countertop as it expands moving aft. So with that separation I had to make this uh, kind of structural corner post that was going to hold those two sections together in that middle part and, um, and then map out the rest of all the apertures for the cabinets and uh, made a big cherry face frame and glued it up and you can watch that here. Can you do a, can I put a request in for like a sprinkle fade to the next shot? You can. Like a, you like a, put like a, like a in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, roll the clip. <laughs> Hey, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
the dry fit was pretty smooth and we had a couple obstacles like fitting around the a couple of deck beams and also one pesky little uh, tie rod that uh, had to notch out for. It's not pesky, it is kind of holding the boat together. We've got the face frame mounted on the boat and now it's time to do doors, which is something that I'm kind of known for around here as being like one of the best door makers in the whole <laughs> in the whole land like really nobody makes uh, cabinet doors quite like me nobody so. believes this <laughs> Hey Patrick. Is that Zeal? It's Zeal. Zeal with a camera, isn't it? With a camera. Sure as hell. What's happening? What's good? I'm uh, working on my drying rack. Sweet. For the galley. We got a custom teak dowel freaking drying Ooh, rack. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. Gonna throw some plate dividers in now to keep the plates from banging on each other. Because that's the last thing you want in a seaway is to have a bunch of sherds, pottery sherds. Shards of ceramics. Yeah. It'd be a shame too, because rumor has it you're going to make a set of plates for the tally how are you not? I'd like to. I haven't gotten that confirmed from the man upstairs yet. But well, you could still make them whether he'll carry them or not. As that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But yeah, we're going to have ten, uh, ten and a half inch plates and ten eight and a half inch plates for hors d'oeuvres. That's a lot of plates. Main course. Ten people. How many bunks are on this boat? Sleeps nine. Nine. <laughs> so there's one so extra. So one extra. Yeah. <laughs> That's for the stowaway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll catch you next time. Same tally-ho place, same tally-ho time. <laughs> Hanging locker is completely dry fit. Everything fits. All the doors open and now we've got to take the whole thing apart and finish everything <laughs> what that means is all of the plywood of which there's a lot of plywood has to be entirely coated in epoxy so that there's no chance that water could get in between the layers of the plywood all the all of the cleats and shelves have to get painted with two coats of Marshall's Cove white paint and the face frame and the doors and the fiddles and everything that's cherry has to get varnished and uh got to give a big shout out to david who did a heroic job and varnished the entire suite of cherry pieces that i gave him and uh and we were able to simultaneously i, I was on the epoxying and painting and david took care of varnishing so that whole operation would have taken twice as long and you're not seeing it on camera but it took a long time so <laughs> thank you very much David you're welcome Patty
So here we are with the installed and varnished um, hanging lockers in the galley. And uh, yeah, I'm super pleased. It's really cool to see the all the drawings and the designs in real life installed. Yeah, I mean we're we're in a we're in a sailboat right now, but it feels like I'm in a proper kitchen. I have standing headroom and a full workspace on the countertops and the cooktop here and a full a full set of cabinets, which is pretty amazing. Just kind of yeah, basically got two shelves with each cabinet. We what we were trying to do is just get um like as useful and also as customizable of a layout as we could. So, you know, for example, like this shelf right here is dropped down a little bit so we can fit kind of bigger things if we need to here and um, that kind of thing. And over here we have a lovely solid teak uh, custom drying rack that also doubles as uh, plate storage and yeah it's a pretty cool pretty cool working galley I'm, I'm really excited to to make uh, make lasagna in here someday well I just got back from the UK I had a very nice trip over there and a very nice journey back here flying in over the mountains and taking the Washington State Ferry across the Sound to the peninsula uh, but it's great to be back and it's great to see the work the team has been doing while I'm away and great that they could uh, put together this takeover episode as well so I hope you enjoyed uh, this little bonus video it'll be back to normal next week and should be a really exciting one uh, we're gonna be working on putting the spreaders on the mast and putting the mast in the boat for good so thanks a lot for watching and a massive, massive thank you to everyone who has donated or otherwise supported this project. It does make a huge difference. It means we're able to keep on doing this work and it means we're able to keep on making and editing these videos. So I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Blue, <laughs> unique New York, unique New York. Also, what do I do with my hands? I need some to <laughs> no, hold. You need two mugs. Yeah. Hold something. Oh yeah, that looks... That looks confident. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs>